In life, some things aren't as they seem. Years ago, before all you YouTubers were born, I was still busy. This is my uh, sort of an after-school project creation that I made just when I started uh, college to be a machinist in 1980. That's a 32cc Remington chainsaw motor. That's the throttle and kill control. To show you how it works. This is the trickiest part. It's a clutch I had to make on the lathe. These chainsaws don't quite have the right clutch. This little sprocket I made on an indexing head on the milling machine after I machined this part out of 4140 steel and then heated it up red hot and dipped it in oil and oil hardened it. It goes on here and there says there's typical clutch weights. This little tube is the automatic chain oiler which comes right there through the top of the machine. This is a little uh, chain guard to stop oil from flying and landing on the floor and getting your shoes dirty. Rear motor mount attaches to the plastic body. Very interesting innovation is this part. That's a one-way clutch. So, for example, if I hold the sprocket still, I can turn the wheels and they're coasting so when you release the gas it doesn't decelerate quickly and cause you to fly off the machine and scrape your knees. It just coasts like a bicycle. If you turn the wheels the other way, everything locks up and spins together and that's what happens when you accelerate with the motor. The way it steers is a split body and this shaft screws into the bearing block that the rear wheels attach to. It doesn't steer quite as quickly as a four-wheel steering skateboard, but you can't have the rear wheels steer or it would twist the chain. And of course, that would bust the chain. Well, in a moment, I'll put the chain and sprocket back together and assemble this thing. Well, the chain and clutch are back together. That's what the chain guard looks like. What are you doing? That goes on right there. Let's see how that works. The ratio from the output shaft to here calculates out to be three and a quarter. Three and a quarter RPMs here to one RPM there. And this thing goes pretty fast. About um, 42 kilometers an hour, so when you fall off at 30 mile an hour, it really screws up your knees. So that's why I got the coaster clutch in there. So it's a little less chance of falling off because it doesn't decelerate very quickly. Another advantage of this split floor steering mechanism is that if you just keep unscrewing it, it comes right off and then it splits in half. You can throw it in your glove box or in a little tiny trunk or in a suitcase and just carry it for in case you break down or something. Now pull back. Hi guys, this will be my first time riding this stupid contraption in 20 years, so uh, don't laugh if I fall off. It's very dangerous. Here I go. A little bit cold.
Well, I was only going one third speed in that video just because I haven't driven this for so long and it was scary, but it really goes fast.